Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm out here in Dubai and delighted to be joined by my good friend Billy Nelson out here. Billy, how are you enjoying the sunshine? Well, it's a lovely city, really. A wee bit warm for me, I'm a ginger ninja. So, if it was a few degrees less, it would be nice. Yeah, it's perfect for me, I mean, I love, I love the sun. But, uh, yeah, the reason why you're out here, uh, your big man, Thor Bjornsson, is taking on Eddie Hall, Hall tomorrow night. Now, uh, the build-up, especially this week, this fight week, has been very, very tasty, spicy, nasty. Um, it's been it's been up there. They, they two have a genuine hatred for each other, don't they? Well, they have a dislike for each other stemming from 2017 when Thor thinks uh, Eddie done a wrong to him, you know, and... And, and and obviously Eddie thinks differently, so it's it's just trans- went on and on and on. Where well, they can resolve the differences on Saturday night. What do you make of the the sort of back and forth between the two? Because they seem to be threatening to take each other outside now. They're not going to wait till Saturday night. Um, it's like we seen it when Eddie rocked up to the gym, and we seen it yesterday at the press conference as well. Where Eddie seems fired up and ready to just fight now. What do you make of all that? I don't think anything like that. You know, we just put a cap on it. Eddie's leading a light himself, I think. You know, he's trying to... I think he thinks he's something that he's not. You know, and, uh, for instance, he said yesterday that technique doesn't matter in boxing. Technique is the most paramount thing in any sport. So, so it just tells you how, he, how the way he's going to fight. So, and that's going to be to his detriment. He's going to walk on to something huge. You said uh, about technique is, is everything, and the, that's obviously he says technique doesn't matter. So how are you, what kind of what kind of approach to this fight are you expecting from Eddie Hall? I don't really care what Eddie Hall does. We've we've trained for how how we think Eddie Hall's going. To, I'm also not going to give away a game plan, but we know how Eddie Hall's going to fight. He can only fight one way, and it's not very good. So. And, and I genuinely, I mean this at the bottom of my heart, see the two camps I've had with her, just two camps. I think it was 10 weeks the first time and 16 here. 16 weeks he's committed to me. You know, to be with me every single day, whether it be in Scotland or Iceland. And he's put his, his life and soul into this camp since the beginning of December. Every single spam partner, every single spam partner he's had has been stopped in spam. He punches like a horse. Well, you, well, this leads me up to my next question: and can Eddie go in there and stop? Uh, can Eddie can Thor go in there and stop Eddie Hall? Can, can Thor? Yeah. Oh, undoubtedly. Oh, I mean, yeah, you know, obviously, for a professional's perspective, it'd be a, it'd be an area title. Sam, I mean, Sam Jones, my good friend, mm. he 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 said already that you know he would win a title at area level even now. You know, he's a he's a capable fighter. There's still a lot to work on. There's always stuff to work on as a boxer. You never you never know everything. And but I'm very very confident that if he doesn't stop him, Eddie's going to be he'll my my he'll have my fullest of admiration if he doesn't stop him. But if he doesn't stop him, he's going to get a, a bit of a beating, I believe, because he's technically superior in every department. What do you make of Eddie Hall saying it was a it was a slight comment about his uh, Thor's mum just saying keep your mum quiet? What do you make of all that? Is that dis- is that disrespectful bringing bringing his mother into it? Well, of course, as you wouldn't do that as a sports person. Uh, Thor was professional and didn't didn't uh, say anything. That, you know, he, he was respectful of his son sitting beside him, so he, you know he wasn't going to go on a rant about Eddie, but through respect for his son sitting beside him, Eddie's just a wind up merchant. I mean, he's got un- his plan was to get under Thor's skin, and he done it. Good, he done it. Now he's got to fight him. Obviously, Thor's took the. I mean, I've seen him in your gym a couple of times. He's took the sport very, very seriously. He, like you said, technically it looks good. A lot of people are saying good things about him. Sam Jones being one of them, like you said there. Um, looking at Thor and the way he has approached his game, do you think after this fight he might have the hunger for it and continue his fighting career? Um, because, like I said to you, he, he does seem to have the hunger for it. Oh, he will continue, mm. undoubtedly. I mean, I'm really surprised that Eddie's lack of knowledge because in the contract it says there's a rematch clause, he won't want that rematch. <coughs> but if he does, thank you. 
And if he doesn't thaw and move on to other fights that we know we know we can make, because you know there's been offers there. Well, that's that's good to know. Uh, uh, you, would you continue to train him then? Is, is that a thing that's been discussed? A hundred percent. I mean, there's no reason why I couldn't. I shouldn't. Uh, he's a lovely guy. Absolutely brilliant. First class family. They can't. Uh, they make you so welcome in Iceland. Place is freezing, but it makes you. Uh, they make you very, very welcome. Real nice people. See when you see when you work with somebody who wants to succeed the way he does. He's he's you know he's not as talented as a, a an international experienced uh, amateur boxer who's turned over. But that's, that's a good thing for me because I've got him raw, raw, you know, at the very beginning. And honestly, you'll spot the difference you'll see on Saturday. Well, Saturday night's just tomorrow, and uh, it's an, it's de- definitely an intriguing fight. Um, two big hits, the heaviest of all heavyweight fights, I'd imagine, with the size of the two guys. So, one final question for you then, Billy. Prediction, how do you see the fight? I genuinely do see a knockout for Thor. I, I think uh, Eddie, says, Eddie says that he can do 20 rounds with a professional. You know, let's be honest, I mean, let's, come on. Who wants to spar 20 rounds? What coach would allow the fighter to spar 20 rounds? You know, if his game plan is on Thor Gasson, there is well no going into the fight. Because, he'll, you know, I think I think Eddie will be blown very, very heavily in round two, if he's still there. Well, listen, it's an intriguing fight, like I said. Uh, probably a different fight week in a, a fight that you've ever been involved with I mean you've been involved in world title fights but this one certainly is is a different different kettle of fish here this is two big huge units and mm-hmm. um, hopefully the ring can stand up to them the ring doesn't collapse but we we'll, we'll wouldn't see this, this is this is Thor's world title fight isn't it? And, and Eddie's and, and, and their respective sports uh, but I've got, you know I fly home on Sunday morning I'm home at 11 o'clock and then I'm, I'm driving to Morecambe with Martin Bacoli to spend a month down there uh, sparring, getting prepared for a fight with Tony Yoka. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really having much time for a to put, a feet, to put a feet up, Andy. Well, there you go. Listen, that's the, li- that's, that's the life you chose, Billy. You chose this life. You can retire soon. I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. It's, it's, it's tiring. It is tiring of traveling all that. But love it. Uh, you'll be first class. Eh? You're, th- you're first class. I know you are. I'm thankful. Yeah. On, the, on the planes, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> nah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly, on the planes. Billy, thank you so much for doing this for IFL TV. Um, I'll obviously see you around the hotel, but the sun is shining. Let's go and be a wee bit sunbathing. We can't go back to Scotland, the two of us, as pasty as we are, so let's go and get some sun. Me and you, budgie smugglers are us. There we go. <laughs> Cheers, Billy.